The tech world's most powerful company just made a move that could destroy the entire AI industry as we know it, and nobody's talking about it. While everyone was obsessing over camera specs and battery life during Apple's latest iPhone reveal, something far more significant was happening. Hidden inside that sleek aluminum frame sits a weapon designed to obliterate the current AI monopoly. Not with flashy announcements or bold claims, but with something far more dangerous, a complete reimagining of how artificial intelligence actually works. For years, one company has held the AI world hostage. Every breakthrough, every innovation, every leap forward in artificial intelligence has depended on their hardware. They've built an empire worth hundreds of billions controlling the very foundation of modern AI. But what happens when someone doesn't just compete with that empire, but makes it irrelevant? The new iPhone Air might be grabbing headlines with its impossibly thin 5.6mm profile and revolutionary camera system. But the real story isn't what you can see, it's what's happening at the molecular level inside that device. Because Apple hasn't just created another processor, they've architected a paradigm shift that threatens to collapse the entire house of cards the AI industry is built on. Let me explain what's really happening here, because once you understand the implications, you'll realize why the tech giants are scrambling behind closed doors. The current AI revolution runs on one simple premise, massive computational power concentrated in enormous data centers. Companies spend millions on electricity cooling systems and infrastructure just to run basic AI models. The bigger the model, the more power it needs. The more power it needs, the more hardware you have to buy from the one company that makes it all possible. This created a perfect monopoly. Want to build AI? You need their chips. Want to scale AI? You need more of their chips. Want to compete in AI? Better get in line with everyone else begging for allocation. It's a system that's made one company indispensable and everyone else dependent. But Apple just found the weakness in this armor. And they're not attacking where you'd expect. Inside the new A19 Pro chip, the silicon brain powering both the iPhone Air and the Pro models, Apple has done something that sounds simple but changes everything. They've integrated neural accelerators directly into each GPU core. Now that might sound like technical jargon, but here's why it matters. Apple just gave every single processing unit in their chip the ability to seamlessly switch between traditional computing and AI tasks without missing a beat. Think about that for a second. Instead of needing separate, power-hungry chips dedicated solely to AI, Apple has created a unified architecture where AI capability is woven into the very fabric of the processor. It's not bolted on as an afterthought. It's fundamental to how the chip operates. This isn't just about making phones smarter. This is about rewriting the rules of where and how AI can run. The traditional approach treats AI like a special guest that needs its own room, its own resources, its own infrastructure. Apple's approach treats AI like a native language that every part of the system speaks fluently. The difference might seem subtle, but the implications are staggering. When I visited Apple's headquarters in Cupertino for an exclusive look at this technology, the engineers revealed something that made my jaw drop. The new architecture doesn't just run AI efficiently, it runs it at a fraction of the power consumption of traditional systems. We're talking about AI models that previously required server farms now running on a device that fits in your pocket. But here's where it gets really interesting. Apple isn't stopping at phones. The same philosophy that created the A19 Pro is being scaled across their entire ecosystem. The new N1 wireless chip, Apple's first in-house wireless and Bluetooth processor for iPhone, isn't just about cutting out suppliers. It's about creating a fully integrated system where every component is optimized for AI workloads. Think about what this means. When every chip in your device is designed by the same company, running the same optimized code, sharing the same unified memory architecture, you eliminate the inefficiencies that plague traditional systems. No more data bottlenecks between different components, no more power wasted on translation between different architectures, just pure, efficient computation exactly where and when you need it. The C1X modem in the iPhone Air takes this even further. 
By controlling the cellular connection at the silicon level, Apple can optimize how AI models communicate, update, and share data. They're not just building faster chips, they're building an entire AI nervous system. And this is just the beginning. Sources inside Apple suggest they're already working on enterprise-grade versions of this architecture, not to compete in the cloud services market, but to power their own AI infrastructure. Imagine Apple's services running on custom silicon designed specifically for their needs, optimized for their software, integrated with their security model. This creates a nightmare scenario for the current AI hardware monopoly. Because Apple doesn't need to beat them at their own game. They're playing a completely different game with different rules. The traditional model says AI needs massive scale, enormous power, and centralized computing. Apple's model says AI should be personal, efficient, and distributed. The traditional model creates dependencies and bottlenecks. Apple's model creates autonomy and flexibility. Wall Street is starting to notice, but they're asking the wrong questions. They want to know if Apple can compete with OpenAI or Google in AI models. But Apple isn't trying to build the biggest model. They're trying to make big models irrelevant. When your phone can run sophisticated AI locally, you don't need to send your data to the cloud. When your device can process in real time, you don't need to wait for server responses. When your personal AI assistant lives on your device, you don't need to trust big tech with your private information. This shift in computing paradigm threatens more than just hardware sales. It threatens the entire business model of modern AI. Cloud providers make money by renting compute power. If devices can handle AI locally, that revenue stream dries up. AI companies make money by controlling access to models. If those models can run efficiently on consumer devices, that control evaporates. The current monopoly makes money by being indispensable. Apple is making them optional. The numbers tell the story. The new A19 Pro delivers neural processing performance that rivals dedicated AI accelerators while consuming 30% less power than previous generations. The integrated approach means AI operations that used to require round trips to the cloud now happen instantly on device. Latency drops from seconds to milliseconds. Power consumption drops from watts to milliwatts. But the real disruption isn't in the numbers, it's in the possibilities this enables. Imagine AI that truly understands context because it has access to all your data locally, securely, without privacy concerns. Imagine creative tools that can process and generate in real time without internet connectivity. Imagine health monitoring that can detect patterns and anomalies instantly without uploading sensitive medical data. Imagine augmented reality that can process complex scenes without lag or cloud dependency. This isn't science fiction. This is what Apple is building right now. The response from competitors has been telling. Stock prices wobbled but recovered quickly, suggesting the market doesn't fully grasp the threat yet. Traditional chipmakers are rushing to announce their own integrated solutions, but they're years behind Apple's vertical integration. Cloud providers are doubling down on larger models, betting that scale will maintain their relevance. They're all missing the point. Apple isn't trying to win the current game. They're changing what game is being played, and they have advantages nobody else can replicate. Apple ships over a billion devices. Each one becomes a node in a distributed AI network. Apple controls the operating system, the chips, the frameworks, and the user experience. They can optimize every layer for their vision. Apple has trained developers to build for their ecosystem first. Where Apple goes, developers follow. And Apple has something no other tech giant has, trust from users on privacy. This last point might be the most important. As AI becomes more powerful and more personal, Privacy becomes paramount. The company that can deliver AI without compromising privacy wins. And Apple has spent decades building exactly that reputation. The timeline is accelerating. The A19 Pro is just the opening move. Next year's M5 chip for Macs will likely include the same neural acceleration technology. The year after, every Apple device will run the same unified AI architecture. Within five years, Apple could have the world's largest distributed AI compute network, running entirely on consumer devices, completely independent of traditional cloud infrastructure. 
This isn't just a threat to one company's monopoly, it's a fundamental shift in how we think about artificial intelligence. From centralized to distributed, from power-hungry to efficient, from cloud-dependent to edge-native, from privacy-compromising to privacy-preserving. The implications ripple across every industry. Healthcare AI that never leaves your device. Financial AI that processes sensitive data locally. Creative AI that works without internet. Educational AI that adapts to individual learning styles in real time. The possibilities are endless when you remove the constraints of traditional AI infrastructure. But perhaps the biggest implication is what this means for AI accessibility. When powerful AI can run on affordable devices instead of expensive cloud services, it democratizes access. When AI works offline, it works everywhere. When AI respects privacy, people actually use it. The old guard will fight this transition. They'll argue that centralized computing is more powerful, more capable, more advanced. They're not wrong for certain use cases. But they're fighting the last war. The future of AI isn't about having the biggest model. It's about having the right model in the right place at the right time. And that's exactly what Apple is building. The iPhone Air, with its impossibly thin profile and advanced cameras, might seem like just another smartphone upgrade. But hidden inside that elegant frame is the first shot in a war that will reshape the entire technology landscape. A war not fought with press releases or benchmark scores, but with fundamental innovations that change what's possible. The AI revolution isn't coming. It's here. It's just not happening where everyone expected. While the world watches data centers and cloud providers, the real revolution is happening in your pocket. And by the time the current monopoly realizes what's happening, it might already be too late. Because Apple isn't just building better chips, they're building a better future. One where AI serves users, not corporations. Where intelligence is personal, not centralized. Where the most powerful technology in the world works for you, not the other way around. The game has changed. The only question is whether the current players realize it in time to adapt, or whether they'll become casualties of a paradigm shift they never saw coming. That's it for today, folks. See you in the next video.